Welcome and welcome back. Hey, what is up everybody? Today I got another package. Uh, I figured I'd go ahead and open it on camera here. So I got my Gerber EAB. Got that red thumb stud that I put on there. One handed opening. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Mm -hmm. um, this is from a company that I haven't tried yet. Um, I've heard about them, of course, uh, but I don't owe it. I don't own any Civivis, and this is a Civivi product, which is uh, here it is. I bought this second hand. I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. It was on eBay. Um, guy only wanted twenty bucks for it. Um, like I said, I don't own any Civivis. This is the uh, the budget line for uh, Wee Company, which is the high end um, Chinese uh, uh, high end knife Chinese knife making company. Um, this is their budget line here, and I think this is also made in China. Yeah, made in China. And there it is, the Paraxis. And uh, I figured if I was going to start with this, any Civivi, I'd go ahead and uh, try uh, one of their staple lines. And because um, uh, uh, yeah, here we go. So Civivi.com comes with a little pouch on it, zipper. Wow, that's really nice, actually. That zipper pouch. I'm pretty shocked there. Like I said, I don't own any Civivi, so this is my first Civivi, first time ever holding one. Um, like I said, I figured I'd start with one of the, the staples from their line, and I've heard a lot of good things about this knife. And um, this knife sells for around what, like forty two fifty, I think, on um... Amazon. Okay, oh, yeah, on Amazon. Okay. Yeah, forty two fifty on Amazon. Okay, so let's go ahead and see here. Okay, so we got a nice cloth here. Might need to keep that closed. Wipe it up. It says, oh, "Love your knife." All right, so Vivi, we got a sticker there. We'll stick that right there. That's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. That almost looks like the knife we got. Oh, actually, I think that's the, the Elementum. <laughs> yeah, the, um, another staple in their line, um, which I'm probably going to check out. It's just this Paraxis, when it first came out, I said, man, I got to get one. So I'm probably 2000 and late to the game, if you guys know what I mean, <laughs> to the Civivi game. But you got to start somewhere. So um, and all the little information and stuff on it. I'll, I'll look at that later. But anyway, you guys are probably familiar about that um, with, with all this stuff. If you aren't, then now I know and now you know. Well, here's the knife. Um, all right, looks like we got some uh, like green G10. Wow, <laughs> that was nice. Wow, that's really nice knife there. Okay, very comfortable. I mean, right off the bat, the weight of this knife here, mm -hmm. very, very comfortable. Um, now I got small hands, we all know this. Um, she, she has small hands, I'm gonna let her get her hand on this thing and see what she thinks about it. She's, she's, she loves flipper tabs, mm -hmm. so uh, that's her thing. Wow, the drop shutty on that was nice. All right, let's see here. Before I put it on the table, let's just try some flipping action. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I think this ceramic ball bearings. There's a little blemish on it right there. So, um, but it still has its uh, its edge on it. Wow, that is sharp too. <laughs> and I think this is uh nine cr. Yeah, um, she knows all the specs on it. Let me go ahead and uh, put it down. We'll take a closer look at it and uh, put it here by the ruler. And I think this is just specs off Amazon. Yeah, these are just Amazon specs, people. Um, the blade length is coming in at 3 and 0.75 inches. Your overall length is 8.45. Knife weight is 4.4 ounces. Okay, and we've got this. We've got this model has got the G10 uh, handle scales with the, uh, they call this a black stone wash finish. Very nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. So, so, yeah, you see that finger choil. So you got about over three inches of cutting surface there on this, uh, you know what, drop point, like leaf shape drop point. Um, almost a high, looks like a high, looks like a high flat grind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, high flat grind there. I could be wrong. No, that looks like a flat grind. Yeah. But the shape of that is just beautiful. What does that say right there? 9CR. See that stone wash on it? Yep. That's, yeah, so that's going to make a heck of a user. I mean... That for that blemish to show there, I'm, I'm assuming that it was something that went on there. Yep. But uh, as you see, the edge is pretty much still there. Um, so far for $20, for what I got it for, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm really impressed. Um, you got the G10, which is That's almost feels like micarta in a way. I, 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 the, the texture that they put on this is, is really soft. It almost feels like a linen, but wow, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not super aggressive at all. But you know it's there. But it's 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 not gonna like take skin off your finger. <laughs> you know. Um, We've all had those hands. The C on the on 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 the uh, the pivot uh, screw there. Yeah. So you got the pivot head there. The C on that. that that's kind of cool. My actual my first name starts with C. I'm not gonna <laughs> tell you guys that. Actually, you guys can call me Virginia if you want to. <laughs> I think that's how I'm just gonna introduce myself from now on. Um, we're here in Virginia. 
Um, and uh, you guys could call me Virginia if you want to. But uh, my real name starts with a C, so that's kind of cool in a way. Yes. Um, it's almost like my, 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 my branding right there. Yeah. Okay, so you got some, uh, you got a backspacer there huh? with uh, see through construction. Let's see if that's skeletonized. It is, as you uh -huh. guys can see there. Looks like it's milled out there. Yep. Yeah, both sides. It says the pocket clip is reversible. That's what makes it so, I guess, uh, like a little bit lighter, lighter for such a big knife, but it doesn't feel big at all. Uh -huh. um, but man, look at that. That, that. That's nice. Just again on the paper. Look at that thing. Wow. And then uh, we got some nice flush screws on it. Yep. So, uh, and then you got a lanyard hole. Looks like reversible pocket clip. Yeah, liner lock. Wow, that just drops so nice. <laughs> um, tip up both sides. That's that's nice. That's uh, they do that uh -huh. um, for forty two fifty off Amazon. I could see I could see definitely buying this. I never got. We 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 live in a rural era, so um, area. So um, it's uh, we we don't get to get our hands on a lot of knives like this. Um, you know, um, and spending that kind of money is kind of foolish. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, for twenty dollars, I said, you know what, this is gonna be a good brow, uh, groundbreaker for me. Yeah. Icebreaker for me. And uh, for us, really wants it. yeah, to see if the Savivi, the Savivi line's where I want to go for for budget line knives. Um, if anything, I'd like to probably jump right to their Wee line if the, if it's very similar to this. I mean, with uh, more premium materials on it, would be you'd have a really nice piece. But this right here, I know they make different variants of this, like yeah. all the way to eighty, and who knows? Like I I seen one that was like close to eighty dollars. I think it had like carbon fiber and and D two on the blade. <laughs> um, but a uh, really nice knife. What do you think about this? Real quick, let's. Let's try that drop, drop shutty real quick. That color combination is cool. Mm-hmm. All right. It's like military. So it's flipper style. You're the, yeah. you're, you're the one that likes the Ooh, flipper tabs. I, I do like that handle. You're right about what they said. Yeah. Nice. That is nice. Yeah, I like that flip. That's a nice one. Look at that. Are you throwing, are you throwing wrist in it intentionally? Yeah, but I'm not going to this time. Yeah. So, oh, that's nice. Yeah, she has real small hands, um, yeah. smaller than mine. Mm -hmm. But go ahead and yeah, yeah. That's that's that is really comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And I really love how the texturing is not as aggressive. Yeah. I mean, it's like you said, you can tell it's there, but slide it in out of the pocket. Yeah. Real quick. I mean, that is I mean, nice. This is what I have today, and I just that slides in and out of the pocket. My old Kirsch, I'll black out. There's, uh, I got my work knife on me right now. Yeah. That's always that my my EAB is always near uh, near um, our photo uh, our videotaping area here yep. in the kitchen. But uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I think this is probably the only Civivi I really need to buy. I mean, there's button lock ones. Um, the Elementum, of course. I mean, that one's. I can't say it hasn't caught my eye. It's everywhere, so it's yeah. in my eye. But I'm just not sure if I want it. I got that. I got the Kaiser Cormorant. We got Kaiser Cormorant. So yeah. we have the fidget factor. But man, just for a, being a flipper, that definitely has the fidget factor. Let's see if we can shake it out. Wow. Usually, a, any type of cold steel, when I say any type of cold steel, but most cold steels I got, I can shake these out by slamming them down like that. And the, the phone's jumping. The camera's yeah. jumping for me doing that. But uh, I can't shake this out. That's pretty impressive. So the detent on there is good enough to where it won't drop out. But man, that just and it, 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 because because the detent's a little strong, but it's not like it takes a lot of effort either. Yeah. I mean, as you see there, it's pretty smooth mm -hmm. on the um, flipper. On the flipper tab, yeah, the jimping on there caught me. <laughs> you see that half? You got you see the stop bar there? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, you got a little bit of jimping up here. Yep. Which, uh, that's nice. Yeah. I mean, great place. It's really comfortable in the hand. Great place for indexing, for sure. Um, let's see here. Uh, the choil. Very nice. Did you grip it like this with the choil? Real mm. quick. Grip, grip. Yeah. Careful. That blade is sharp, though, yeah. for 9CR, so you got that stainless. Yeah, that's still really comfortable. Yeah. Very nice. Mm -hmm. No hot spots from what I'm seeing. No. Right off the bat, I mean, it's, it's, it's solid. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I mean, see any blade play or anything. Yeah, rock solid. I mean, there's no side to side, up and down. Um, take another look at it. That pocket clip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, standard pocket clip there. Hold the camera real quick. Okay. And uh, let's see how. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So let's see here. Um, just real quick, I got the I got the rag here. Let's just see if how. Here, let's put the blade away real quick. Let's just see how that drops in the pocket. That's hard to get on there with this little soft rag. Yeah, no problem. But uh, let's see here. 
I'm flipping it upside down. I mean, it's not it's not slipping off at all. As you can see, it it, it, it is weighty, but it's not too bad for for a big knife like this. It's it, it's definitely it's lighter than I was expecting. Yeah, but it it, it doesn't feel like light to where no. it's cheap at all. Let's try. No. You got that deep pocket clip. So I mean that lanyard, that lanyard is gonna be cool. If you're into putting lanyards on a pocket knife, I seen one guy he doesn't like put lanyards on his pocket knives because someone can take it from him, and that's totally understandable. Yes. You know. Um, Completely. Just more reason to carry two knives. <laughs> uh, but or yeah. more than two. Um, but yeah, um, so some people don't like lanyards on that. Uh, that doesn't phase me too much. Um, I'm a pretty short guy, so if they try taking it, they got to reach real way down to get it <laughs> out of my pocket. And by then, they're going to catch a headbutt or a knee to the face. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, cut test? Yeah, let's do some cut testing. All right. Thinking about UFC shit now. All right. <laughs> let's try just standard shoestring here. Okay. Some old shoestring. So, wow. With that belly and that flat grind, wow. All right, let's just do a push cut. Yeah, with that belly. I mean, that was just ridiculously sharp. Uh, actually, this is kind of fun right here, actually. <laughs> let's just do some just, just some simple sliding back and forth. Okay, that tip, tip sharp enough. Real quick, since we're here, let's do the paper. Got to do the paper. So I bought this second hand. Yeah. probably use a run through a sharpener. Yeah. But still, it's still pretty sharp. For, for $20 though? Yeah. I mean, look at that. 9CR Chinese stainless. Mm -hmm. um, wow. That's nice. Man, that is fun. This is a mm -hmm. fun user knife right here. I know for a fact I'm going to be carrying this one a lot. Um, let's try some, um, some paracord here. Not much paracord left. Yeah, Ooh. like nothing. Try just some, some like netting type string here let's go double on it boom nothing nice. yeah uh run out of things to cut here real quick little yeah just, i'll find that just real quick I'll pull through on it all right just just with so fair here yeah no <laughs> problem i mean this thing is what a nice knife. Well, yeah. I'm glad I started off with this one with the brand. Um, it's going to be in the collection. Most likely it's going to be in my pocket a lot. Um, <laughs> this is a nice knife. I really like it. I'm happy with the purchase. Um, Civivi, um, probably going to explore more from their company. Yep. Right? Um, Definitely. Um, yeah. So, uh, cool. <laughs> I like the knife. I hope you guys liked the video. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.